UFC has been completely taken over by the MAGA cult. We're going to look at what happened in Madison Square Garden over the weekend at a UFC event. But this really is a sort of natural follow up to our recent story about how a lot of theoretically non-political spaces, including uh, creators related to business or sports or fitness or whatever, have been culturally coded with that C O D E D with messages that push people towards a right wing ism, MAGA ism, voting for Trump. And now we come to UFC. I want to remind everybody about shut up and dribble. Remember the people telling NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick to just throw the ball and stop kneeling during the national anthem to make political points. Remember the people telling LeBron James shut up about vaccines, shut up about Kamala, just Shoot the damn ball, LeBron. Remember, keep politics out of sports. Well, all of a sudden, the Trump MAGA crowd has completely taken over ultimate fighting. Dana White, who's the owner of UFC, loves Trump. And over the weekend at a UFC event in New York's Madison Square Garden, Donald Trump was welcomed with a full on Trump propaganda reel that played on the Jumbotron. One of the fighters, John Jones, praised Trump during his victory speech and handed Trump his belt. And then also Trump and UFC commentator Joe Rogan had this love fest of hugs. We're playing the video here. Here is Trump showing up and going over. He shakes Rogan's hand and then he actually he shakes some other guy's hand, then hugs Rogan and then they're talking. It's a love fest. I assume Trump saying thank you for endorsing me very strongly, strongly, strongly endorsement and you know, the whole thing. Everybody loves each other. Everybody's cheering, whatever. Even the official commentary for the fights was bowing down to Trump and talking about how awesome it is and how great all of this is. It's been fully bought, sold and paid for now. UFC and Trumpism is one. Here is Trump with Dana White. You can see the first lady, Elonia Musk walking behind Trump. You see MAGA Mike Johnson, uh, Eric Trump, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. The Vake was there with Tulsi. We'll get to all of it. OK, but here, listen to the official commentary. And ladies and gentlemen, look who is now making his way to the world famous octagon flanked by UFC CEO Dana White, 45, soon to be 47, President elect Donald Trump. I wish the people at your home could hear the sound in this room. It's so loud in here. It is so loud. OK, so anyway, it went on and they talk about, oh, there's Robert Kennedy and his cabinet and the energy. And it's all so fantastic. Elon Musk, as I mentioned, was there uh, alongside right wing musician Kid Rock. Here you see them in an image and uh, we're going to get to the presence of RFK Jr. and MAGA Mike Johnson in a little bit. Uh, but I have just one other video to play for you here. Here is John Jones handing his UFC heavyweight championship belt to Donald Trump. OK, so there are two important stories here. There is a cultural story and there is a political story. The political story is that once again, we don't want regulation on businesses except when it's convenient. We don't want to increase the deficit except we do it every time that we are president. Right. It's another principle that has fallen. Athletes should stick to being athletes. Musicians should stick to being musicians. We don't want to hear Bruce Springsteen or Taylor Swift rant about politics because it should just be about the music, except what about Kid Rock? And I struggle to think of other right wing mus musicians. There's that rapper for for Giotto blow who hangs around at Mar-a-Lago. Right. But the, the point is, we don't want to hear politics from musicians except the the musicians that agree with us. Then we're glad to have them talk about politics. We want athletes to shut up and dribble 
stand up from kneeling and throw the ball. We don't want politics in sports, except can we completely take over this UFC league where they are bowing down at the altar of Trump, putting Trump videos up on the jumbotron hand? You know, Trump wanted a purple heart. Well, he also wanted a UFC championship belt. And I guess John Jones gave it to him. The principle of keep uh, politics out of sports only applies in so far as they aren't right wing messages. As soon as they are right wing messages, they want it there. So another principle they claim to care about in the toilet flushed 10 to 15 times. Then we get to the cultural sort of uh, uh, situation here. We've talked a lot about how you find health and uh, fitness influencers on YouTube and their messaging is coded with right wing language. You find entrepreneurship and business content on TikTok, and you start to get subtle cultural messages and sometimes not so subtle that obviously, if you believe in all of this stuff, you must also be voting for and supporting Donald Trump. You find it in all of these different cultural spaces, and this is somewhere the left has really failed. And it's not you know, we, we keep hearing the phrase the left wing Joe Rogan. It's it's not about that. It's about entire spaces that have been taken over with this culturally right wing stuff. And the epitome of that example is UFC. Now, I know that there are some of you who would say, David, obviously UFC would be coded right wing. It's about something that, you know, s some people don't even think it should be legal. The idea that you would enjoy two men or two women beating the hell out of each uh, out of each other, pointing themselves on a life path towards brain injury and CTE, all to fulfill this extraordinarily limited and short sighted view of what masculinity means or in the case of the women's fights, I don't know, femininity. I'm not even really sure. Um, of course, that that's going to appeal more to right wing people. And maybe there is something obvious about that. But I have lots of left wing friends who love this stuff, who they, they love UFC and they just find themselves annoyed by by the Trump crap. Uh, I don't know if it's enough to dissuade them from following it altogether, but uh, there it's not completely obvious that it has to be a right wing environment. I know some others say, well, you know, football was always historically right. And then it went left with Kaepernick and then it came back. It although on, in one sense, it seems obvious that UFC would appeal to right wingers. I don't know that that's the case overall. And anecdotally, I know many left wingers who like it, but it's been completely taken over a uh, perfect example of what we've been talking about. Now let's talk about the flight to UFC because there's something interesting there. Did you know there is only one VPN fully optimized for streaming 4K video and downloading large files? That's our sponsor, Private Internet Access. A VPN hides your IP address, allows you to make it look like your device is anywhere in the world. So this lets you stream content on Netflix and Hulu and HBO Max, not normally available in your home country. For instance, the show Friends is not available on Netflix in the US. But when I change my IP address to the UK, I can watch Friends on Netflix and a ton of other awesome content I would otherwise miss out on without lag and without buffering. Private Internet access is also faster than other VPNs for file sharing, so you can download anonymously, but without the long wait times. Anyone can use private Internet access. Just turn it on once and forget about it. No special knowledge required. And you can use it on all of your devices, TV, phone, tablet, computer. Private Internet access is giving my audience 83 percent off, which comes out to just 203 a month, plus four extra months for free. Go to PIAVPN.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.